What's going on fam? I got another yoga strength video for you and I guarantee you after this, you're gonna have a six pack. As long as you're not a mutant, you will have a six pack. I'm not sure if it'll be visible, but this is gonna be yoga strength flow, really dedicated to core strength, which is yes, gonna look very nice when you are lean, but also great for your body, making sure you're not in pain. Let's start with a little bit of breath work. We're gonna go ahead and inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four. Three, two, one. Inhale for four. Hold. And out. Inhale. Hold. Out. Inhale, hold, out, inhale, hold, last one, all right, 21 warrior breaths, inhale strong through the nose, exhale out fast. Good. Five more breaths. Inhale four. Hold. Out. Inhale. Hold. Out. Inhale. Hold. Out. Inhale. Hold. Out. Last one. Inhale. Hold. And out. All right, let's get ready for our bird dog. So since it's core, we're gonna warm up the uh, core with this exercise, going into a tabletop position first. Inhale, right hand, left leg out. Exhale, crunch it all in. So really focus here on stretching out those limbs as far and high as you can. Might feel a little awkward at first. You might feel like you're going all the way up, but I think you probably still have a little bit more left to give. Get ready to switch. And good job. Go ahead and plant back and then go switch with the left hand here. Switch with the left hand, right leg, and bring it in. Inhale, left hand, right leg, bring it in tight. Beautiful work. Press into a downward facing dog, cuddle those heels to the ground. Moving those hips as well. Drop into a loaded beast, come up, doing a beast wave. Head extends forward, tuck the chin underneath, and pull the spine back. So we're just trying to get a nice spinal wave. Drop it down, loaded beast, press those hips up, roll one vertebrae at a time, all the way forward in our beast wave. Tuck the chin and pull it back. One thing at a time. Nice, y'all. Might not have full control in the beginning, but you'll get better and better at this movement. Good job controlling that spine. Nice, y'all. It's the last one. And going to stretch out your forearms, palms facing you, rocking it back and forth to find the length in the front part of the forearms here. Doing a lot of work on the wrist. Always gonna be important to stretch out those forearms too, especially if you work on a computer. And 
Good job here. Let's go flip the wrist over, bring it up one, ver uh, one finger at a time. It's kind of a great way to prevent carpal tunnel as well, making sure that the uh, there's not too much tightness that you're building in the forearms. You can bend at the elbows here to stretch a little bit deeper. We'll meet back in our downward facing dog in a brief moment. Okay, press it back, downward facing dog. Pedal those heels. Back and reaching across to the opposite toe. It's gonna be a great way to warm up the core, warm up those hamstrings, work on your balance. Then we'll step it out to the right side into our lizard lunge, Uttan Prasthasana. Good, step onto the right side, dropping that knee down. Left foot goes flat, reaching up towards the right side. Drop the elbow down to the ground. Inhale, right hand up, exhale, elbow comes down. A few times here, then we'll just go ahead and switch to the other side. Nice way to open up the chest. Press it back, downward facing dog, switch to the left. Same thing, dropping that right knee, right foot goes flat, inhale to the left, exhale, coming down. Go for five here. Nice, so opening up those hips, opening up the upper body as well. Nice, y'all. Let's press back, downward facing dog, drive the right knee to the left wrist, and bring it back to that downward facing dog. Drive the right knee to the left wrist, and back. A few more times here, really trying to force that engagement of the core. Trying to bring that knee as close as you can to the wrist every single time. Come up into Scorpion. From Scorpion, drive your right foot across the body into our wild thing. Making sure with this one, you're pressing your knees out wide. So you don't bring the knees into knee valgus. Keep those hips elevated as well. And coming back into that downward facing dog, doing the same thing on this side. Downward dog, left knee, right wrist. Make sure you keep a nice tempo. I should be going a tiny bit slower, but let's go back into our scorpion, holding here, stacking those hips, opening up towards the opposite side with that left leg. Step it through all the way into our wild thing holding that position here. Careful with those knees. Bring it back down, we're facing dog. Now we're coming into a 90-90. So you're gonna drive that right foot forward, bend at 90 degrees, let that left foot also go into 90 degrees. So I'm gonna be able to stretch on that right hip, similar to a scorpion, or similar to a pigeon, now twist back to the left side. Really fast way to stretch out both hips. It's nice with this one because you can alternate, so alternate back. Good and beautiful work. Pull it back to the other side. Back again. I'm really trying to keep your body low, almost hugging your knee. Keep that right foot in front, and then go twist that left foot all the way in front of the body. Sorry, left foot goes in front of that right knee and tuck this knee in close. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna help you open up your tensor fascia latte, which is a, not a Starbucks drink, but a hip muscle right on the side of the hip. It's actually really hard to stretch this muscle out. This is one of the only ways that I know how to do it. Switching on the other side, left foot goes forward, hold that 90 degrees, 90-90 stretch here. Before we let that right foot come all the way in front of the left knee and to the side a little bit. Good. 
Good, let's swing that right foot over and across, tucking that knee really close into the chest, stretching out the TFL. Holding it tight. A few breaths here. Almost there. And good work, y'all. Coming back into a downward facing dog. Briefly, inhale that right leg straight up. Exhale, step it all the way through Anjane Asana. Grabbing those hands behind the back. It's gonna open up your chest, also make your arms look a little bit nicer. Pulling your shoulder blades back here. Stretching out that hip flexor on the left side. A good cue here is to engage your left glute. It's gonna open up your hip a little bit more. Let's go right foot goes forward, Ardha Hanuman. Stretching out the uh, right hamstring. We're almost ready for our circuit, which is gonna be a few supersets. 30 seconds each exercise. We're just gonna do it two times each as well, so be quick and fast moving through. All right, press it back. Plank position, drop it down to that push-up, Chaturanga Dandasa, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back into that downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg, step through. Anjaneyasana on the other side, grabbing those hands behind the back. Pull the shoulder blades back, chest is elevated. Engaging the right glute this time to feel a little bit more of a stretch onto that right hip flexor. A few more breaths and we'll go Ardha Hanuman. Go Ardha Hanuman here. Left foot goes forward. And holding here before we rest into our child's pose for a little bit. Beautiful work. Let's go press back into a child's pose and holding here, all right? So like I said, we got a few supersets, 30 seconds each exercise. We're gonna do a lot of hip stuff, some core exercises, some animal flow. Got one set of push-ups as well. Excited for this one, two times through. First thing, side plank, clamshell. Go onto your right knee, bend at 90 degrees, inhale up, Exhale, come down. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to keep the uh, knees bent at 90. We're pressing that right knee onto the ground as we also lift that left leg up high. It's gonna be really good for the outside of the hip and we're gonna superset this. So we're working on the right glute with this exercise and we'll immediately go to the right leg for a single leg crab bridge, okay? So crab position here onto those hands. My right foot is still planted. I'm going for that single leg crab bridge. Just doing the best that you can to get that full range of motion. You might notice here, I'm not going perfectly flat with the ground. Just do what you can. It's kind of hard to get that extra extension, especially for 30 seconds. But main goal here is we're trying to get that, that booty activated. Get ready to go to the other side and going onto the left side now. Side plank clamshell, lift it up and drop it down. We're doing two uh, supersets here of each circuit. Two times through of each circuit, just so we can get a little bit extra load to build that strength and to hopefully build a little bit of muscle as well. 10 more seconds, and then we'll go into the single leg crab bridge. Beautiful work on that left side, single leg crab bridge, press those hands down. If this is uncomfortable on your wrist, make sure you just go back flat onto the ground and just doing the uh, single leg bridge from there. So you don't have to go crab position. Although this way does help you get a little bit more glute activation because you're a tiny bit higher. 10 seconds and we're going to an animal flow movement, which is gonna be the beast reach. So we'll go loaded beast for every time for that. Good, so let's go set loaded beast. You're gonna press those hips up, drive the left knee to the left elbow, bring it back, do the same thing on the right side. So really here, trying to force that engagement with the core by bringing that knee all the way across the body, even past the elbow a little bit if you can. 
maximizing every rep and then go push up to mountain climber. Drop it down, push up, mountain climber across. So we're going push up, mountain climber to each elbow. Nice job, y'all. Making sure we're really slow on the descent. If you don't want to go for that push up, totally fine. No judgment. I also can't see what you're doing. You can also just hit the mountain climber and that is perfectly fine. A few more seconds and good. All right, y'all, go onto your back. Let's go bicycle crunch, adding a pulse. So elbow comes across to the opposite knee and keeping those feet off the ground the whole time. Supporting your neck. When you add that pulse, it's gonna help you just get an extra little bit out of this exercise. A few more seconds and we're going straight into flutter kicks. Once again, supporting your neck if you need to with the hands behind the head, just straighten out those legs all the way up. Keeping those limbs nice and long and trying to go the whole time for 30 seconds without stopping here. Nice job, everyone. All right, this one's a little bit tricky, this next one, so I'll show you. And take your time getting into it. Go onto a side plank on the uh, right elbow. Reach your left hand up and drive that bottom leg up to the high elbow, to the top elbow. A little tricky at first, but you wanna make sure you plant the top leg and the bottom leg comes up across the body. If it's too hard, just hold the side plank. Switch to the other side. Reach and crunch. So figure out what feels better for your foot. You can go behind or in front of that top leg or once again, just holding onto that side plank. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but we are gonna do it one more time after this. Good job, okay, so I'm gonna show you real quick our side kick through. I have a few variations for you. So going from beast position, kick that right leg underneath, pull that left hand up like you're firing a bow. Now we do the same thing on the opposite side. I'll show you a few variations. So we're gonna go into jumping and then we'll go into levitating. That's jumping, hop up, and then switch midair to the opposite foot. Boom. And here's levitating, where you can find that extra balance and across. So that's the most advanced movement there. Any movement for you is accessible. Any Whatever is accessible for you, I want you to do that. So we can go side kick through just normally, kicking that leg underneath the body at a 90 degree angle. Or you can add that jump, switching mid air, or the levitating up and defying gravity, whatever you wanna do. So start with that beast position, kick that right leg underneath first, and pull that left hand up, engaging that upper back. So I'll be sticking with that jumping side kick through. You can join me there. Or just do whatever feels better for you. Let's go into your back in a second. Go into a suitcase crunch. Reach far and bring the elbows in. Reach those hands all the way back and tuck those knees to the elbows, crunching in both sides of your core. Right after this, we'll go straight back to the beginning since we took our rest a little bit earlier. Very, very good. Okay, let's go into a side plank clamshell. So right side first. Very good here, y'all. Just really trying to maximize the amount of range of motion that we get with this exercise. And also making sure we're lifting that left knee up as well. I know it might not feel like it's working, but when you lift it up high, you are gonna get that activation. 
Good, y'all. Let's go into that single leg crab bridge with that right leg. So same side, bring it up. Very important that we keep our heel planted onto the ground here. That's how we're gonna engage those bigger muscles, the hamstrings and the glutes. Get ready to switch the other side, side plank clamshell. Last time on this side, so just maximize what you're doing here. You can feel a little bit in the shoulders as well. Actually able to work on a lot of different muscles in this position. And let's go into the last time for that single leg crab bridge. Beautiful work. Single leg crab bridge. Drop it down and up. Good, y'all. Keeping your shoulder blades back. Remember, if this is painful for you on the wrist, just go onto the ground. You're almost done. Get ready for our beast reach. Okay, so. Load it back, loaded beast, drive that right, uh, left knee to the left elbow, same thing on the right side. So trying our best not to rush this exercise. I know um, it might be our nature a little bit to just go fast, but I want you to control here. I want you to really focus on the control of your body, so just maximizing each and every rep. Let's get ready for our push up to mountain climber. And good, push up, drop it down, mountain climber across to each elbow. Making sure we get a nice shoulder blades back engagement of the upper back with our push ups. Finding a nice tempo to stick to the whole time. And we'll go back onto our back again, giving our shoulders a quick rest. Good. Going onto your back, let's go into a bicycle crunch. So reach back, elbows to the knee, adding in that pulse as well. Nice job, y'all. Keep supporting your neck and keep it going all the way through this. In a few seconds, we'll go straight into our flutter kicks. Then we're in our final stretch. Beautiful work, flutter kicks. Support your head, keep those legs nice and straight. You might feel a little bit of engagement in the hip flexors for this one, that's okay. If you feel any lower back pain, you might have to lift your legs up a little bit higher. What that's gonna do, it's gonna keep your um, lower back flat on the ground. Just try not to have a gap in your lower back to the ground here. Okay, side plank, cross body crunch. Side plank, reach for that left, and drive that knee to the elbow. Finding what feels good for you. You can have the foot in front of the top leg or behind it. I'm choosing behind here just to get a little bit extra range of motion. Last few seconds, then we'll go ahead and switch. Last time there. Good, switch. Incredible work, keep reaching and keep crunching. I know this one is difficult. If you wanna just hold a side plank, that's okay as well. A few more seconds and we'll take a quick rest. Beautiful. Take your quick rest and you know your options for the side kick there. So we have our basic version, still gonna be hard, kicking at the 90 degree angle, pulling that top hand up. We have our jumping and we have our levitating. So let's go ahead and set beast when you're ready. And let's start by kicking that right leg underneath the body. 
all the way through. Kick that right leg underneath, left hand pulls up. You can levitate or you can jump through. And really maximizing the amount of range of motion you're getting here. So making sure that leg goes as straight as you can and pulling hard with that upper back. Okay, last thing y'all, we're going to our suitcase crunch. And then we are all done. So reach back, tuck the knees into the shoulders and the elbows. So give it everything you got here. So you can finish up strong. I'm proud of you for finishing this whole workout. Thank you so much for joining me on this yoga strength flow. Hope you can consider subscribing so we can keep spreading strength and healing across the world. Good job. Thanks so much for joining me on this yoga strength flow. I want to thank you so much for watching this whole video and I hope that you'll please consider subscribing. Liking this video is going to help me continue to spread love, strength, and healing all across the world. And I can only do it with your help. So looking forward to creating more stuff for you in the future. But I'll go ahead and sign out right here. Good job today. Family, sending you a big old peace sign. Lots of love. I appreciate you. Have a beautiful rest of your day.